It's yeah. crazy now, like, it's to the point where when we're watching a television show, the same exact things that are funny to us, we'll laugh at. I don't know, we we like the same things. I think that's what makes us so compatible. We're both into, like, ratchet sneakers. We both like watching Bad Girls Club. We both, like, <laughs> like eating the same things. We like going out to the same places. We like watching the same things. But I don't know if that was one of those things that kind of, like, naturally transitioned from us being together around each other so much, or it was one of those things, like, really the things that I liked prior to meeting you. Even down to music. I mean, we have the same music choice. I mean, I don't know. I just think there's so many similarities and just, like, everything. Like, whenever we have a date night or something, it's easy for us to agree on it, because we're kind of like, oh yeah, I wanted to do that anyways. Well, we first met, um, actually online. We actually met on Jaff. We first, like, originally bonded because when we first started talking, it was, um, right around the time of, like, Danny Kane's final tour. Oh, yeah. So we kind of had started talking about that. But like what initially attracted me to him was like his style and how like different it was. I mean, it's changed since then. But yeah, it was that was what originally drew me to him. I reached out to him first. And then literally the first night we hung out, we talked about Danity Kane for like three hours straight. And we sat in my empty apartment and we just talked for we like talked. hour and listened to music for hours. When we had originally started talking, like I wasn't even really looking for anything at all. Like I was kind of just looking to like make a friend or two and like, you know, see what could possibly happen. For somebody with meaning to me, it's about way more than just sex. So like, if I'm like trying to take somebody seriously, then I'm not gonna try to sleep with them. Or I, I can't say I'm not gonna try to sleep with them. <laughs> I'll try to sleep with them, but let's just say like, if you, if I sleep with somebody too early, then I stop taking them seriously. So like, that's why, I, it, I like wanted to like not really do anything for a while. I feel like a lot of times in New York, people have their priorities kind of out of whack, so that kind of makes it hard in a relationship to 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 be something more than just sex. Because like when you're just having sex with somebody, you don't care about their job, you don't care about that, you don't care about you know where they're going afterwards. You care about that moment. You care about what you're doing, who you're doing, how it feels, and that's it. But once you're in a relationship, it starts to become about. Oh, well, what does he do for a living? Where is he going with his life? What is his five-year plan? Where is somebody going to progress? Like, that has to be what a relationship has to be about. And now I'm older, and I feel like it took me getting older and going through experiences to realize, like, the depth of a relationship and taking one other person's um, feelings into, it, right. into mind and making that kind of important. And oh, I want to say more important than my feelings because at the end of the day, you have to look out for yourself. Even if you're in a long 10 year relationship, you still have to be there for yourself first. But I think knowing that there's somebody that could possibly almost take that spot, if not be right there next to you, it's kind of like a wake up call and it's a little scary. Like he's kind of like my inspiration to like want to continue where the way I'm going and to like keep pushing and to have faith that what I'm doing is the right steps to get where I want to be. And I think that is like the most important thing to me is to like, have somebody in my corner that's like pushing me to do yeah. better for myself. He wants me to be my best self. He was like super sweet to me when we first met. He was like, you know, like saying all the right things, doing all the right things. And like, I wasn't used to anything like that. So like, it was, it was new to me. So I was like, hmm, like maybe this is worth me getting into a relationship for and not just like staying single just to stay single. When we first had met, like I got sick and he like came to my house with like medicine and tea Chipotle. and stuff. And Chipotle, yeah. Just um, like little stuff. Little stuff that like yeah. I wasn't necessarily used to. He was just sweet. I think that we we had grew so close so quick. Once you start talking to someone every single day and you're with that person every single day, you get to a point where you're learning everything about them, how they handle situations. That's even more important than the shit you're going through is how you handle it. So yeah. Talking to him about like the seeing the way he handled things. I don't know. It was it just turned into one of those things I was like Is my life better with him in it? Yes, if he wasn't in my life Who would I talk to about these kind of things? I don't know when I met Eric I just thought it was weird to me that I hadn't seen him yet Because to me like when I met him I thought like this man is gorgeous. Like I think he's so cute <laughs> I really did. I still think you're gorgeous and it's like one of those things. It's like it was weird when I saw him because to me it was kind of like I just felt already that like I should have known him for longer already. But we came from different situations and even different boroughs and different type of circles we were in. So, I don't know, it just made you think like, damn, you've been here all this time type of thing. So, why not? Love is kind of hard to explain in terms of a feeling because it's something that like 
I feel like a lot of people think that they know what it is and, and then when you get out of a situation, you realize that maybe that's what it wasn't what it was. I think yeah. you'll know when you're in the situation, when you feel like you can't live without a person, when you feel like your life is gonna crumble or your life is gonna be a, a completely different path if you're not with this person. And like, it, it has, I feel like love has to do with the kind of need to be with somebody and, and they, they be your companion. To put love in like a more, I don't know, a tangible feeling, to me it's like the feeling of being nervous and calm at the same exact time. Mm. I think yeah. that's what it is. Cause I feel like, I feel like to be real with you, even like almost three years later, I still feel nervous sometimes with Eric. Like when I see him sometimes, like when I walk into his job to see him, I like get like, ooh, that's like, you know what I mean? That's like, that's mine. Like that's just weird. Like this person just gets it without you even having to speak on it. It's, it's an interesting feeling. When you have that thought of like, oh shit, like what if this doesn't work out forever, then what are you gonna do? I think when you think like that, it's kind of like, damn, this is someone that I really love because I can't see myself transitioning to a state that I can't be with this person or I can't love this person. Right now, where, where we're at, and right now, the, my mindset is that I can't see myself getting this close to somebody or allowing someone else to, allowing someone else to have me be this vulnerable all the time. It's scary to be real with you. It's like a scary, like love is so scary yeah. because in, in the light of everything that's good and what's going on, when it comes down to thinking about like the what ifs, those are what really kills me sometimes. Cause it's kind of like, damn, I'm really sitting here and I'm giving my all to somebody and like really, really into them. And like, when I think about Eric, it's like, this is someone that I want to have in my life forever. Be a part of the Amon experience by subscribing to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, and Facebook at Adoma Girl Man for more.